Hi everyone, my name is Michael. I'm an ESL instructor and today we're going to look at English pronunciation, which can be very difficult for language learners because there's a lot of rules and a lot of differences in the way that we can pronounce different sounds. So this is a famous poem that we're going to look at. And when you first glance at it, we can see that the words have different colors. You'll see that the words in the same color make the same sounds. And you might ask, but how? They're all spelled differently, they all look different. Well, that's what makes English kind of tricky. Let's look at the first three words, and you can say these with me at home. Everybody, heard, word, heard. All different spellings. Here's the next one. Dead, bed. Again, different spelling. The next two, bead, deed, also different. Now let's look at these two, very different spellings, very different. The first one you might know, meat. And then this one, it's not suit, it's sweet. Not like the sweet that we eat, but a sweet like uh, an office in a building. So again, meat and sweet, very different. Look at these two. Great and straight. Over here, we have threat and debt. You do not pronounce the B sound, it's silent. Debt. Moth, we see moth again, so moth, broth. Broth is the liquid in soup. Moth and broth. And then finally, you probably know these, mother and brother. So again, really quick, let's review everybody. Heard, word, bird, dead, bed, feed, deed, meat, sweet, great, straight, threat, and debt. Over here, moth, broth, mother, and brother. So now we're ready to start reading our poem. You can sing along with me at home. I'll take it very slow the first time, and then I'll do it a second time. Listen closely. Beware of herd, a dreadful word, that looks like beard and sounds like bird. And dead, it's said like bed, not be. For goodness sake, don't call it deed. Watch out for meat and great and threat. They rhyme with sweet and straight and debt. A moth is not a moth in mother, nor both in bother, broth in brother. You got it? Let's do it one more time. As you practice this, you can do it faster and faster and faster. So let's go again. Beware of herd, a dreadful word that looks like beard and sounds like bird. And dead, it's said like bed, not bead. For goodness sake, don't call it deed. Watch out for meat and great and threat. They rhyme with sweet and straight and debt. A moth is not a moth in mother, nor both in bother, broth in brother. It's a very famous poem by a man named Richard Crow. And this is a great way to practice your pronunciation and to also learn the difficulty of English spelling because there are so many different spellings for the same sounds. Glad to have you here. Thanks for participating. Practice these at home. Keep practicing. That's the best way to learn. And when my students ask me, teacher, Michael, how do I learn all these different sounds and different spellings? I just say, it's practice. It's all about practice. And they say, but English is so crazy. And I say, you're right. English is crazy. Thanks, guys.